Hey YouTube, what's up? Jonathan here from Ultimate Mac Reviews, and today I am going to be doing a application review for you guys on the application called Virtue Desktops. Now this is freeware, and I just figured out how to get this to work on Leopard. It used to be only for Tiger, but I figured out how. It's actually very simple, and just an overall great application. So getting into this, if you'll see, this wallpaper right here is going to be in the description. So I really like this wallpaper. I mean, some of you guys may be kind of back and forth about the rainbow, but I like it. Okay, now getting into this application. The link to download this application will be in the description. I like Mac Update. So that's what I'm going to do. You're just going to come over here, push Download Now. It will download as a DMG. Now once you download the DMG, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Virtue Desktops. It's going to unzip and everything. It's going to say Virtue Desktops needs your attention. And this is basically just talking about the different things that it needs your administrative login and password for. Now, if you are on Tiger, which most of you guys aren't, you would push OK, put in your password, and it will work correctly. But if you're on, sorry, if you're on Leopard, then it won't work if you push OK. You must push Ignore. So I'm going to go ahead and push Ignore. And it's going to come up with the software now. So I push it. There we go. Okay, so this is the basic Virtue Desktop interface. Now, you will also see an icon in your taskbar. This is basically an alternative for spaces with some very cool graphic effects and some very neat, neat stuff. So, first of all, I'm going to show you guys what my hotkeys are set for. Now, my hotkeys are set for Command, Right, and Left to switch right and left between spaces and I have my transition effect set to random so I'll show you guys what that looks like there you go now if I want to go to the left some very cool transition effects I'll show you guys how to do that you're gonna open up the application you're gonna go right here you can actually choose if you want to show it in the status bar or not because that basically just allows you to switch from the status bar and it crashed on me it will sometimes crash on you I'm sorry but it's not really something I can fix doesn't happen very often okay so up here you can switch to like three for instance and then switch back to one automatically and that's how that works then you can display the desktop name so I can actually change it like I can make it one two three how it says up there I can so I'm gonna uncheck that I can check for updates warn me before quitting Launch Virtue on Login, which is actually what I had set it to do. Collect Windows when quitting, all this stuff. And then let me go into Appearance. I have mine set on Random. You can set it to either one. I like Cube personally. It's kind of like the nifty Cube Switcher. I like Random though, up to you guys. You can show notifications. You can make it longer, shorter. And if you guys use Growl, you can use that that I don't really know what it is that's just some options and stuff I think you can make it more columns and stuff you guys can mess around with that I don't really need more than three so I'm just gonna leave it there plugins you can add plugins to it triggers this is how you edit the triggers what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to add trigger you can do all kinds of different things like toggle start menu all kinds of different just pretty much everything so mine what you do is you would double click right here and then you'd go to you'd actually go down here to plus like I did and then you would just delete the one that was there before and then you type in whatever you want it to be like mine was that and that's how you change it now the coolest thing about this application it's not foolproof doesn't always work but it's very cool down here you can actually enable motion sensor desktop switching now my sensitivity is brought up pretty high so in order to switch you're just gonna tap on the side of your computer like so I don't know if you guys can hear it actually switching but you can tap on either side and sometimes you have to tap pretty hard so not a lot of people are into that so I'm just gonna go back to the one and if you bring the sensitivity down to about there you can just wave your hand on the side and it will switch there we go sometimes you have to wave your hand pretty hard and it will switch this is a very neat thing to mess around with. I don't always have it set because sometimes it switches without me wanting it to. But besides that, it is great. Lots of fun. 
I mean, I really like this application. Plus, it's free. Just one word of advice, never bring it down to the lowest sensitivity. Because I did that once, just continually started switching, and it was, it was bad. So, that's pretty much my review of Virtue Desktops, how to get it. It's freeware. Please go and check it out. A lot of people like this application, especially if you aren't a fan of spaces, but you still want some virtual desktops. You guys will enjoy it. I enjoy making this review. And this has been Jonathan from Ultimate Mac Reviews. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you for watching.